Welcome to the channel, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing my small collection of uh, wild turkey whiskey bottles that I have. I showed one of these uh, before, uh, but I've added to my collection. So the first bottle I'm going to show you is the one I showed you before. I got this one from my, my grandpa. And this is the second in the series of the Wild Turkey uh, limited edition ceramic uh, bottles. Um, these are hand painted from what I understand. This one come out in 1972. So it's been a while. Uh, it is a female turkey on a log. I'll show a pic of the bottom side marking so you guys can see that. The value on something like this isn't a lot. Uh, I've seen them uh, 15 to $30 uh, for this uh, number two in the series. So the second bottle I'm gonna show you is what they call the mini number two bottle. And I found these while researching uh, my first one. Uh, they make the mini in, um, the first number one and the number two in the series. And it's basically just a miniature version of the, the large one. Uh, pretty pretty close to exactly uh, like the other one. On the bottom it's marked mini number two. Uh, and it's got a label on the front side of it telling what, what's in the bottle. So price range on these mini bottles, uh, they are not very valuable. I mean, I've seen them as cheap as $5 um, up to um, $20 or $30 for a set of them. So the third bottle I'm going to show you that I have is uh, another one that I've added to the collection. This is the number one, the first in the series. I think this is the very first uh, limited edition whiskey bottle that Wild Turkey produced. Uh, this was 1971. Uh, I th I, the reason I think that is because these are much more valuable than uh, the other ones. Uh, these are from $60 on up to $100. I've seen these. So much, much more valuable than the, the number two in the series. And there's there's others. I'm not sure how many there is, but there there are others in the series. I'll show a pic of the bottom side of this one so you can see uh, what it says. But uh, yeah, this is, I guess, a male uh, turkey. So I was actually able to find one of these bottles with a Wisconsin uh, sales tax sticker, which was kind of neat because it matches my other one. Uh, this one has the sticker. There's supposed to be a sticker on the bottom side of it and that sticker is gone. It, it's supposed to look, look like the those sticker on the mini bottles. But this one is missing that. It doesn't have the raised wild turkey letters like the number two full size bottle had. So the final bottle I'm going to show you is the mini number one. And again, like the mini number two, it's it's pretty darn close to the larger version. And it's hand painted just like the other ones. So it's it's pretty neat. Uh the bottom side it says uh mini number one. Again, this was nineteen seventy one is when the, the number one series came out. All these bottles are filled with a one oh one proof eight-year-old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. The larger bottles had four-fifths of a quart. I know that's odd, but that's what it says. And the smaller bottles had 50 milliliters in them. That's going to do it for my uh, wild turkey whiskey bottle collection. I do have some uh, Jim Beam collector bottles that I'm probably going to show uh, in, in the next video. And then I've also got I've also gotten into the beer steins. I've started collecting those, so I'll probably go through them as I get a full series of those. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tour. 
of these uh, whiskey bottles. And I'll see you guys.